This is called the Bouncy Pillow. We're just outside Peace River where over 50 post-secondary healthcare students are here for an RPAP skills weekend. Students bounce from one fun activity to the next. Here they visit the Lavoie Dairy Farm where about 350 Holstein cows get milked twice a day. A big part of what this weekend is all about is getting a feel for the local area. It's also a chance to discover what healthcare career opportunities are available in a rural setting like Peace River. Here, students tour the Peace River Community Health Center. Here we have our day surgery recovery room. We also have our scope room. This hospital serves a large catchment area in northern Alberta. Patients come from as far as two hours away. There's an operating room, cardiac stress testing, and each year about 400 babies are delivered here. I was shocked by how robust the hospital was, like there was a lot going on. And You're going to take that hand. Obstetrics was one of seven skill stations set up at the hospital. You want to make sure that it's not like on the, the skin. Each of the stations offers the students the opportunity to learn hands-on medical skills like casting and IV starts. I thought it was awesome. Um, got to do a lot of things that I probably wouldn't ever get to do as a physio. So um, I thought it was really cool to experience those sorts of things. Peace River physician Dr. Kylan McCaskill is no stranger to a skills weekend. He attended three of them when he was a medical student at the University of Calgary. Today, Kylan is teaching intubation. It feels nice to be able to give back to, to med students and show them that what we do up here is a really challenging um, and rewarding place to practice. Um, I get to do really everything. Over in suturing, Annie Hutchison was also giving back. A few years ago, she attended a skills event in high level as a med student. Oh, it's so fun. When they told me that they were kind of putting on this weekend and asked if I was around to help, I was super excited. It's really neat to go back and actually teach people those things. It's not that long ago that you didn't know how to do any of these things either. Always popular, the STARS mobile unit. In this exercise, instructors have asked the students to work as a team to treat a patient with serious heart problems. EMS hosted an unusual but fascinating station. What do you do if a patient in serious condition can't be given medication in the usual way, intravenously? You inject it into the bone, in this case, a chicken bone. It's called an interosseous injection. This is a tool that we can use for immediate access to get medications and fluid into patients that are uh, severely unwell. My favorite station was the intraosseal station. I didn't know that was a thing that you could inject into a bone. While in Peace River, the students made a visit to the air ambulance hangar. Two planes are permanently stationed here to transport local patients to hospitals in larger centers, often Edmonton. They visited the local museum, where they discovered the role the mighty Peace River played in the fur trade. Today, this waterway is a gold mine for recreational enthusiasts and home to the picturesque Shaftesbury Ferry, a must-see for tourists in summer. Students get to know others from different healthcare disciplines as they take a scenic walk along the riverside. Then, speaking of gold mines, they venture over to a statue of 12-foot Davis. While this statue may be 12 feet tall, the real legend, Henry Fuller Davis, was nowhere near that height. The name comes from a small 12-foot mining claim he had, where he found in today's dollars a half a million bucks worth of gold. Peace River! It's really cool to come somewhere like Peace River, which I've never been before. Um, it's really fun to meet the community and just see like how much the community has come together to show us how amazing it is here. The community hosted a dinner for the students where they heard local professionals share reasons why they love working and living in Peace River. But they really will care about you when you come here and practice and it helps you care about them. And the one next to you, come on now! The evening wrapped up with a game show hosted by local comedian Sean Pittman. Lots of laughter and in the end, everyone won a prize. Alright, thank you ladies for playing! 
The busy RPAP Skills Weekend finishes here, at a viewpoint overlooking the Peace River. One last chance to celebrate new friendships, pose for a group photo, and leave with a better vision of what rural healthcare is really like. It's been an absolute blast to come up here. It's, it's something that we definitely need the exposure to. I'm very excited about rural medicine. I actually realized how much I enjoy living in smaller places um, and the different opportunities you get.